So as some of you may know, I live in Canada, and in Canada there is three nuclear reactors. It's not a lot compared to the states. You know, they didn't jump all over the nuclear bandwagon in the 60s and 70s. Uh, but there is three in Canada, and two of them are in Ontario. That's the province that I live in. And actually, in Ontario, 60% of Ontario's power comes from nuclear, which is, that's a lot. That's really high. Um, so for a country that doesn't have a lot of nuclear power plants, two of them are in Ontario, the province that I live in. And one of the two happens to be the largest... It's arguably the second largest or the largest, depending on who you ask and when you ask them. But I'll just say it's one of the largest nuclear reactors in the world or nuclear power stations in the world. Um, it actually has eight reactors on site. Uh, actually, it has nine. <laughs> it has one old one that's no longer active, but it has eight active power generating nuclear reactors on site. Uh, which um, I think by the number of reactors makes it the largest, and I think by the uh, amount of kilowatts it makes it the largest. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's pretty cool. I've always been into nuclear power, so I did want to uh, take a tour of this place. Every, every year for a few months they open up uh, free tours. Uh, there's like a free uh, bus tour that you can sign up for. So I wanted I wanted to do that. At the same time, I had a week off from work, and I wanted to go camping. And we found out, we were actually told that there's some really nice campsites up north, uh, near, in the same uh, county at least, as, as where this uh, nu nuclear power station is. So... I was like, oh, that's cool. I can book a camping, uh, you know, site, and it'll be close, you know, maybe a 20-minute or 40-minute drive from where uh, the nuclear power station is. It'll be this, you know, the same week that I have the tour. I'll be camping. I can go on the tour. That'll be awesome. What I didn't realize, I really had no idea, was when I got there, it wasn't a 20-minute drive away. It was a 30-second drive away. Literally, this campsite is sharing a fence with the world's largest nuclear power station. <laughs> In fact, if I took a, you know, two-minute walk from my actual campsite, I could see the nuclear power. I could see the reactor buildings from my campsite, basically. <laughs> Not only could I see them, I could hear them. And actually, this is funny because I read um, one of the Google reviews for the campsite, and it, it generally got really good reviews. And you know, one guy was like, "Oh, I really like the place. My only complaint is the you can hear the nuclear reactor or you can hear the nuclear power plant, and it's annoying." And in my head, I was laughing. I'm like, "You can't hear it, buddy. It's in your head. Like, ooh, I hear the humming of the reactor." Well, it turns out he was right. Of course, it's most likely the turbines that you're hearing. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm assuming there's like eight turbines or a number of turbines per reactor and there's eight reactors um, and you do hear it it sounds literally like a vacuum cleaner it's funny because I actually thought when I got there you know when you're camping and people have like air mattresses and they have like the little electric pump that they have that runs off like the 12 volts, uh, you know, you put it in your cigarette lighter in your car, maybe. And um, it makes that high pitched motor noise. When I got there, and I first heard it, that's I thought that's what it was. Because <laughs> when you're camping, and people have those pumps out, I literally thought someone was pumping up their air mattress, you know, until like an hour later, when I realized I could still hear it. And then like an hour after that, I could still hear it. And I'm like, what the heck? So I started to walk around to try and figure out what the noise was. Like, is it coming from the bathroom building? You know, is, is it a water pump for the for the, the campsite buildings? And as you walk around, you realize it doesn't get quieter or louder because it's, you know, it is far away. It's, I don't know, a kilometer away or something. It's not, it's not a campsite over. It's a kilometer away. Um, so yeah, you do hear it. Um, but I loved it. It was a great campsite. Um, it was quiet. There wasn't a lot of like teenagers partying. Um, the lake was decent. <laughs> 
Um, it wasn't too expensive. I, I loved this campsite, and I'm definitely going back there. On the tour, um, so they have a, yeah, they have like a visitor center, and you can go inside there, and you can see, you can learn all about nuclear power and how it's powering 60% of Ontario and, you know, how safe these designs of reactors are. They're called can-do reactors or the reactors in Canada. And, um, yeah, and it's pretty cool because it's it's sort of uphill from the actual um, power plant itself. And they have it set up so the back of the the back of the visitor center is like a big observation deck with um, like those things you put a quarter in and it's like binoculars. <laughs> and so you can see the whole uh, like site there. You can see all eight reactors and well nine reactors uh, counting the old uh, decommissioned um, it's called uh, Douglas Point, I think. Douglas Point reactor was the first uh, operational reactor in Canada. You know, it was semi-experimental to see if it was worth doing and if it could, you know, be uh, sustainable and cost-effective and all that. So, but they shut that one down in like the 80s. Uh, but yeah, there's still, like I said, eight uh, reactors. And you can see it's kind of mirrored this big, um, you know, this big complex. You have uh, the four reactor buildings on the far left and four reactor buildings on the far right. It's mirrored. And you have um, you have these heavy water uh, store. I guess they're like storage tanks for this for the heavy water that the reactors use, and that's kind of there's there's two of those. Um, but yeah, you can see it all from from this like uphill vantage point. So it's that's really cool. And then of course I drove around. I wanted to um, get some close up pictures of the reactor buildings uh, myself, and I didn't have my camera at the time. Um, I just had my phone, so I didn't have any like optical zoom. Um, but this is as, this is as close as I could get to it, and I mean that's pretty close. <laughs> that is pretty close. I forgot to mention there were these uh, air raid sirens basically scattered throughout the whole area, not just the campsite, but there's there was a couple at least in the campsite i got a picture of one of them here um like i said the campsite sh shares a fence with uh the actual power plant station and <laughs> you know these these there's multiple levels of fences and you'll see like no trespassing signs and you'll see as you get closer these no trespassing no trespassing signs get a little bit more serious as you would expect um, and apparently there's multiple levels of fences after that. Like, you know, there's one fence is just, it, there's cameras and the fence will detect uh, if it's disturbed. And you know, obviously with the cameras, they can see where it's been disturbed. But then there's like another level after that where it's an electric fence, <laughs> supposedly, which I guess makes sense. But yet I was able to just drive around and basically get to where the water had flooded up to the road. And it looks like a pretty much a straight shot to this thing. I got this picture here. And again, that's with no optical zoom. It's cropped in a little bit. It's, that's why it looks a little blurry. But I mean, that was with a, a cheap cell phone camera. So um, yeah, I was able to get pretty close to it. So anyways, is it weird? Would, would, you, would you go camping beside the world's largest or one of the world's largest nuclear power plants? Um, right beside a reactor. I mean, you can literally hear it and see it from your campsite. You know, they've never had, like, any sort of radiation leaks. They've never had any issues. They've been in operation since, oh, God, the 60s and 70s. Um, and, uh, and I, you know, to me, it's, it doesn't bother me. I, I, I had faith in it. I slept really well, actually, and I think part of it was that noise. It's like sleeping with a fan on. Um, I usually don't sleep very well when I go camping and I did here, but again, it was a peaceful campsite and there wasn't like kids partying and like, like I said, so yeah, I really liked it there and I'm definitely going back. It's like my new favorite spot to go camping. So 